Hey everyone, it's Ryan Quintel wishing you happy holidays for 2011 and welcome to a December quick tip from Vector Tuts Plus. Today we're going to create a classic envelope design in Adobe Illustrator, pretty quick and easy too. Um, and if you don't know what an envelope is or you're born after 1995, it's what they used to send to each other before they could email. Let's create a new document and call it envelope. 12 by 8 is the width, and you can see I'm doing it in inches, so I'm sorry to all my international friends if I'm irking you, but uh, envelopes in America are in inches, so mm, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Uh, let's create a rectangle, and we're going to do it 8 inches by 4 inches. And you can see that creates a pretty rectangular looking rectangle. And we're going to take our line tool, and almost the length... We're going to drive it right inside here. Now we want this to be thicker, probably something like 12. We're going to dash the line. And that's looking pretty good. Now make sure if you have short edges like this, turn on the preserve exact dash gap lengths and make our dash 24 points. All right, that's cool. We're going to object and expand it to make sure that it turns into boxes instead of staying a stroke. And then we're going to go to Object, Transform, and we're going to shear it by 20 degrees. We're going to hit OK here. And you can see we have a sort of dashed border. And you can even shrink that a little bit. I'm going to keep it just there um, and test out where that's at. Now holding down Option and Shift, I'm going to click and drag these down. See, about the same distance away. And then, holding down Option and Shift again, I'm going to drag some over and create them over here on the sides. So line this up with your sides, and you can see my sides are snapping together because I'm using Smart Guides. If you want to turn those on, go to Window, and then Smart Guides in the menu. Using the Direct Select tool, I'm just going to chop off all these extra ones. And then Option and Shift. will take me over here. Now, if Option and Shift don't work or you're having a hard time, I find you have to roll kind of your fingers on the keyboard. You can't hold down Option and Shift and start dragging. It doesn't work. If you hold down Option first and start dragging, that'll make a copy. And that works. Hold down Option, and then once you start dragging, get Shift. Go. And you can see here, now it's snapping to exact lines. So we'll get that over here. Now select all of those by Shift clicking. And we're going to ungroup them, right click, right click, release the compound path. Just get rid of any groups or associations they have. Starting in the top left, hold down shift and select every other one. And in the swatch palette, let's pick a blue. Then you can use magic wand on the rest and pick a red. Pretty easy. Now, our envelope out here, we're going to make a gradient. And instead of black, let's do something a little bit nicer. Drag down that black value, and we're going to do, how about a nice kind of yellow, little aged paper. We'll make it a radial gradient, and grabbing our gradient tool, we'll Scrunch it down so it's a little bit more dimensioned to what the envelope is. Gets a little yellow on the sides. And on the stroke, just get rid of it. We don't need it. Now take everything you got and just Command G or Control G on PC and group it because this is a real solid envelope foundation. I'll put it back in the middle. In fact, I like to align my objects, align to artboard. Just totally centered. Cool. Now let's come down below the envelope and we're going to make a ink stamp that's going to go on this. We're going to take a circle and it doesn't really matter. It's 1.4 by 1.4 inches for me. Come over here and make sure that it has a stroke color but not a fill color. And maybe two points for the stroke. Then make a second one that's a little bit smaller. 
And we're actually going to make a copy of it by Command C, then Command F. And on that second copy, just take the rightmost point with direct select and get rid of it. I just put it back in place. I like to use the keyboard to do that, so I remember I can count one, two, three, or one, two, three um, to get it back. Now we're going to take our text tool, and right at the edge of this curve, we'll write Postal Service. I know what you're saying, Ryan, you don't pick a country for the Postal Service, but uh, you're doing it in inches, so it's very obvious. Uh, courier is going to be our font, because what is more fitting than uh, courier for courier service? And I'm just putting here, I'm drilling back up the line height uh, so you can see where they start. Just getting it kind of centered between those two lines. Next we're going to make a line that's not quite at the top of our circle. Using the eyedropper, make sure it's two points as well. We're going to do a couple things. We're going to go to Effect, Distort and Transform. Transform it, we're going to make seven copies. We're going to move it 0.13. That's comma 13. We want 0.13 inches. Feel it out. See, that looks a little scrunched to me, so let's do 0.15. That's better. Hit OK, and I'll kind of center these, maybe make them a little bit longer. You can see when you make it longer, too, it spaces them out. That's good. Select your line and go to Object and Expand. That'll make each of these lines individual. And now go to Effect, Warp, and Flag. So we're going to flag this whole thing. We have this kind of cool, wavy thing going on. I'm doing a bend of 30, and it's a horizontal bend. Now with our lines and circles selected, let's make these red. You can go a little bit darker than that. Postal Service will give that the same red. Select it all, and you know what, I'm looking at it, one or two points looks a little big, let's go to one. That looks better. We'll group that, and that'll go in our envelope later. Now let's make some rectangles and create a stamp. That'll be a one inch stamp by 1.3 inches. And we'll get in close so you can see what I'm doing here. We're going to go to Object, Path, and Offset it. Offset by 0.1 inches. Meter limit 4 doesn't really matter, but we'll uh, do 4 for the meter limit. And on our outside path, let's go to Effect, Distort, and Zigzag it. Now, obviously, you can do some wacky, wacky stuff, and you're like, what's going on? This doesn't look like a stamp. Well, what we're going to do is make it relative and smooth. And now that still looks weird, but we're going to bring the size down to 2% and bring our ridges up to, say, 24. That looks a lot more like a stamp. Let's try 23. Yeah, you can see you want all your corners to be pretty equal. We'll hit OK. And the inside of our stamp, um, obviously we don't want them to be just strokes. So the inside of our stamp, let's do something crazy. Um, we'll go to swatches and open a swatch library. And let's go to patterns, decorative. There's a cool one. Here it is. Look at that. Plaid. <laughs> and uh, the outside stamp, you can just leave as another color for now. Um, we're going to make it white later, but I still want you to be able to see it. And in the spirit of patriotism, I may as well go for some stars on my stamp. Make those white. And outside, we're going to make a second copy. Drag it down a little bit. Just make it black and turn its opacity down to, say... 30 or so percent. Put it right behind the stamp. Now, 
you can see it's not it's just a tiny little drop shadow but when I turn this white you're gonna see it makes a big difference in how much it stands off this envelope so select everything here in the stamp and group it make sure you have everything here group two in your postal service ink stamp and first we're gonna place on the stamp size it down a little bit that's perfect stamps never go on just right let's rotate it a little bit postal service that goes over it so if it's not over when you place it in right click arrange it and bring it to the front I'm gonna size that down too and I'm gonna rotate that a little bit too because that's never perfect and bring its opacity down to say 50 percent I'm really gonna tuck it up and over on that stamp and now it's time to address the stamp to somebody and I think I will dedicate this envelope to my favorite Kiwi lounge cat there she is <laughs> and she is going to be at vector dot tuts plus and we'll make that two and Vada way and I hope I'm spelling this right Melbourne I always forget that R Australia did I get that right it looks a little weird doesn't it that will make that something like 21 point that's fine and I like to also make this a little bit uh, either gray or blue like not full black because I think that's a bit much and up in the top left in 12 point font and left aligned will do who it's from and it's from her favorite person in Boston <laughs> Ryan Quintel world web street Boston Mass I'm gonna select this all and group it because I think it's looking pretty good I'm gonna put away this and now I'm just gonna do a couple things to give this an effect and because I think sometimes when you make something real simple and real quick presentation is just as important so let's real quick give this a shadow and a background give give a circle and ellipse tool about the width of the envelope gray will do just fine effect blur gaussian blur and crank this thing up to like 16 pixels that's looking good we'll put that underneath see so it's just peeking out drive the opacity down to say 60 percent and put it in multiply mode then make a big square put that underneath and gray's a little cold so hey it's uh, it's Christmas time we'll make this jolly jolly red it's kind of a blood red at the moment but uh, we're gonna fix that inside there it is and I'm just gonna take the gradient tool and kinda of stretch that out too so it's rectangular as opposed to circle and there we go we have an envelope ready to be delivered well not really but you get the idea hey guys I hope you had a great 2011 and best wishes for your 2012 I hope to see you again real soon check back at Vector Tuts for all the latest vector tips and tutorials I'm Ryan Quintel, have a great day and keep designing.